uh, we're pretty much ready to get right to it. How are you feeling today? I love it. Well, you're about to feel even better. Friends, our next performer is known as the curator of weirdos. He himself being a fantastic weirdo. It's true. He is the host of and the producer of two shows, The Devil's Hour and The G-Spot. Right? Saucy. You would never expect it out of this guy. Friends, please welcome to the stage the absolutely fantastic Jeff with a G. Sorry, I'm a little tall. <laughs> Fine, then we'll do this way. How you guys doing? I don't believe you. How we doing, Gemini Scorpio? It is the uh, the season of love. Aww. Who here right now is on a date with somebody? <laughs> That's very quiet. So we got a lot of single people here. That's good to know. I too am a single person. Uh, but we're always trying to find love and stuff like that. Who wants to try to find some love? I see a lot of people going, oh, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, uh, it's fair, it's fair. We're a bunch of weird fucking freaks. You're welcome. Um, but I will want some assistance on stage. I'm gonna do something fun with somebody. So who can I bring on stage? Who? Because you were. Well, while your friend was trying to be so hard to do so, but you raised your hand up separately, so that's okay. Otherwise, if they, she just went like this, I would have, I would have had you on stage. But yeah, could you please come on stage? Oh, okay. So folks, what I do is I, in addition to being a sideshow performer, I've actually performed a few times on the uh, the Coney Island stage. I'm not a full-time resident yet, <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. All right. <laughs> But in addition to doing sideshow stuff, I'm also a um, magician and mentalist. Uh, true story, how I got involved with sideshow is I decided to be a mentalist because magic doesn't hurt people. But that's not exactly true. Uh, I'm going to showcase why. <laughs> now, um, with sideshow, the idea of sideshow is you take like large, sharp, pointy things and stick them in various orifices and stuff like that, blockheads and stuff like that. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to take a sharp, pointy thing and in the most dramatic way possible, Make sure it doesn't go anywhere inside me. Does that sound great? Sound fun? Uh, normally, uh, we do some fun stuff like that, so that's why I brought these bags. Uh, I've got some fun little braces and like that here. Um, and then, uh, I didn't bring a spike. Did you bring a spike? No? Uh, okay, well, what was your name, by the way? Michelle. Michelle. Good to everybody say hello to Michelle. <laughs> No, I'm just going to be loud, because it's just easier, so I like moving around. I, didn't, I forgot to bring anything, but I'm the garrulous guy, but I'm the, I'm, I'm the guy who likes drinking. <laughs> I got something better. Uh, just so you guys are aware, I'm, I'm, I'm the drunken mentalist, so my tricks get better and you guys keep drinking. <laughs> so make sure you attend the bar and you think it's amazing! But no, what I do have... Is I've got a corkscrew. You want to check that out to prove yeah. that it is a real, legit corkscrew? Not fake, anything whatsoever. That is a corkscrew. It is a corkscrew. It's legit. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have a little fun. You're familiar with the idea of shell game? You know the shell game? Like the, or hide the queen? Like the yes. three card Monty? We're going to have fun with that. But with the corkscrew. And so what I got here, I've got a corkscrew if I can get There we go. Is I got these fun little bags. They're regular brown paper bags, nothing fancy. Got it from Amazon because I'm a Prime member. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> Two day delivery, gentlemen. <laughs> so, yeah, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put like that. I have extras of these, but when they're weighted down, so there's no way we can check. That way, in case the breeze comes up, because everybody needs to realize that they need to go outside for a second, the breeze kicks up, it doesn't fall over. But you guys don't realize, it's kind of like we're doing a here, so they're really enough. 
That's a head joke. So. <laughs> Sorry, Fred. Thank you. Someone Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Had a play called No Exit. Yeah. I went to school for theater and film. So, yeah. so this is what's going to happen. Is I'm going to turn around. I'm going to count down from five to one. And all you got to do is oh. mix them up. Nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Are you okay with this? Yeah. Are you local? Yeah. Do you know where the closest hospital is? <laughs> uh, well, because you came up here on stage, you are now legally liable to make sure it's hit the wrong. Luckily, I do have a lawyer in the audience, so it's okay. So, uh, so I'm going to turn around. You're going to play Mix Max, Mix Max. Do you know which one it's in right now? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna count down, right? Let's go, let's count down, let's go, let's go. Five, five four, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I can drink. It's okay. Oh, I have prescription. <laughs> So interesting thing about doing this sort of stuff. So I got a third, I got a 33% chance of them getting this wrong, uh, and then 63 for me. So uh, what's going to happen? So I'm going to throw my hand down on one of these three things. If it goes right. We're going to cheer and applaud that I did not hurt my hand. Uh, if it goes wrong, they're going to cheer because the shell is taking me. To because the I run very fast. <laughs> All right. All right, no, 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 look this way. No, no. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I'm sorry. That's the idea of mentalism. Sorry, you're right. All right. Do you know which one is in? I think so. <laughs> all right, all right. These people pay good money for me to hurt myself. Got it, all right. So this reminds me. Oh, yeah. Just like love, we're doing something like 50 50 shots and we're meeting people about whether or not clean sailings or you take a lot of pain. 